Good morning, everyone. I'm Betsy Coe, um, and welcome to our new member, or not so new, member Q&A sessions via Zoom. Um, Co-hosting with me, I have uh, Hillary Gadsby. Um, and um, Hillary, do you want to introduce a little bit about yourself? Yeah. Um, I'm the uh, membership coordinator for the England project. I'm also a project coordinator for the Wales project. And so I've been on Wikitree for, uh, let's see, must be over 12, almost 13 years. So um, got quite a bit of experience. Almost the whole 15 years. That's... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, have, I have not been on Wikitree as long. Um, I. I joined in 2019, but I didn't really become active until very late in 2020. And that's when I really dove in. And um, I also am in the England Project, in the Wales Project, Scotland Project, uh, just recently joined Mentors. Um, and, and I've become very involved. I love the Wikitree community and uh, what the values, the research values. Um, so. Um, welcome, Murray and Richard and Sally and Doris, um, and everybody who's watching the video afterward. Um, so we're going to um, have a look. Sa Sally um, has very graciously agreed to be, um, you know, our, guinea pig. Our, <laughs> your guinea pig. Your, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and and to talk about um, uh, some of her profiles, um, which are wonderful. Uh, so Sally has just graduated from the Profile Improvement Voyage, um, which is all, you know, all about making the best profiles that we can create. So let me get a screen share going. Um, Sally, I thought I would show um, uh, the mother first. Martha, Martha Jones. Jones. Yes, okay. I've been a member for six months. <laughs> <laughs> well, and and um, you had, I think you mentioned something in an email that um, you hadn't done any online genealogy prior to right. that, am I right? I, was, I am a paper genealogist from the last century coming back to it. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so there's, yeah, talk about a learning curve. So I have to re-familiarize with genealogy in general because most stuff was not online in 1999 and 2002. Mm -hmm. And then there's the WikiTree platform, then Ancestry Family Search, Find a Grave, newspapers.com, and now Genealogy Bank, and probably there's some other ones that I'm not remembering. Um, yeah. Trying to learn how to do those things kind of all at once. So right. Uh, right. there's a lot of pieces, but- um, For sure. Yeah, and, and I have to say, given given that, I I, I mean, these profiles are amazing. Um, I I have very I only have one teeny teeny suggestion, but beautifully done. Well, thank you. Um, I have paper files that when mm -hmm. I'm no longer here, someone's going to chuck them in a recycle bin, and so I'm well motivated to say I don't want that to happen to all this work. Right, so right. I want to make sure it gets preserved. And when I looked around, this looked like the best platform for me, the best match yeah. for getting yeah. that stuff online. So there's right. no ancestry trees or any place else of my stuff for you to find. This is it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Um, and so, um, yeah, looking at this profile, an American profile, <laughs> I love that her birthday is 4th of July. Yeah. Um, and uh, parents with, with the hyperlinks to their profiles, siblings. Yeah, I've um, worked on getting her siblings. I don't have them all yet, but I've got some of them in there. Oh, okay, there's more to come. Yeah. There's more siblings. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, some of them I've just been stymied a little bit on the research, but I'll get there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, terrific that you've got a, a specific marriage date. Sometimes you don't always have that. Um, and uh, both both death death date and location. Um, now this may look a little different on your page since you don't have WikiTree browser extension. Um, notice that the categories are in this nice little box. Uh, yeah, that would be very handy. Yep. Um, so that's so I definitely have to look into that. 
Um, right. That's that one of about 121 reasons to get the way to you do <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, And you got a, you got the bio. I see you're using inline citations. Yeah, I had to learn um, how to do that when I started. Yeah. I did not know how to do that. Yeah. And how That's to edit it. those, because when you go into edit mode and you look at that, the first time I just backed out of the profile uh, <laughs> when I first saw one of those, because yeah. I said, oh, no, I won't want to touch this because I'll mess up with something I don't know what I'm doing. And then right. I, I developed a method that worked for me to try to get in there. So now I understand how they work and I can do inline mm -hmm. citations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and this would be one of two, two ways to do it. The other way being to just have a, a list points. of sources at yeah. the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's, I like inline citations because it's a direct connection yeah. of the facts of the source. Yeah. yeah. And, and I know how to do the, where you name them. So you don't repeat that whole right. long yeah. source citation. So you can right. use it in multiple places mm -hmm. and you don't have to use it at the top. If you put it in at the end, like an obituary or something, you give it a name mm -hmm. down there. Then you can put yeah. the shortcut version up at the top and you don't have to move those big chunks of text all around. Right, right. To use yeah. them in multiple places. Mm -hmm. The system is very clever. It, you yeah. know, it follows, follows the ordering that you want. Um, right, and then research notes. And here was my, my only teeny tiny suggestion um, okay. is that with the research notes, um, you know, if it's something where it's maybe based on information that you have, because this this is your family, right? Right. Your, yeah. My blood um, relatives. Okay. Yeah. Um, you might want to sort of put a little stamp on it that that's a signature. Oh that, yeah, I, I tend to forget yeah. to do that. Yeah. Right. Right. And the way um, maybe Hillary, could you put the four tildes in the chat so that people could see what that looks like? Yeah. Sure. When yeah, I was thank you. going through profile improvement, I was always getting nudged about that because I would yeah. forget to do it. But yeah, it makes yeah. sense for you right. know, someone's going to come along later and read that and say, oh, yeah, OK. Um, right, right. And I would say that maybe it's it's a little less critical since you are the profile manager. And if I looked at this and I had a question about the research, they would probably I just send you a message. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I yeah. will do it because there's more work to be done on this. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, and putting in the divorce. The divorce is not in here. Right, right. And yes. so let, let me just get to the bottom and then we can, sure. well, yeah, we'll look at um, Aaron's profile, her son, and then talk about the sticky things. Okay. So yeah, here we got the, the sources and um, this is um, well done that you put um, the five, the Bible transcript and the find the grave in uh, C also. Um, that's that's the proper way to do it. Um, sometimes you'll see find a grave in the source list, but it's it's better to do a C also. So you you mentioned you wanted to know more about uh, free space pages, and yet yes. you've done a be you've done a beautiful one. <laughs> so I, I'm going to um, just pop over here. Okay. Well, I'm working on getting pictures. Okay. I don't own this Bible, but I've seen it. My grandmother let me transcribe it years ago. Well, she passed on and one of my cousins got it. Mm -hmm. um, but she's amenable to things and she's local to me. So um, I think I'm going to be able to go over to her house one of these days and get some pictures of the book itself and the page where Martha wrote in all these birth dates mm -hmm. and the, um, the publisher page, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah. It's not a particularly interesting looking as a book, but it's certainly uh -huh. interesting as a artifact or a family record. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. I would add those into the this free space page once I get get that. Yeah, yeah. So a free space page um, is something that um, you can create yourself very easily. If I'm in the top of um, the, the top menu in the right corner, I just go to add and then add a free space page and it will prompt you. Um, I, have, uh, I have one that is outlines a brick wall on, on one of my um, lines. Um, it can be about your pets. It can be about um, the history of a house where you grew up. If you, 
want to document that. I mean, really, it's, it's limitless what you can do. Um, and a transcription of a family resource like this is a, it's a wonderful uh, use of it. It, it, it. What it does is it keeps, keeps the profile itself from becoming too cluttered. And, um, and also, you'd want to be referencing this for multiple profiles. Yeah, I so, think I have put links on. I'm not sure if I got all the children, but I think I got most of the children. Well, out of the six children, I am a profile manager for four of them. Mm -hmm. So they all came up for adoption. Uh, plus, mm -hmm. Martha, came, Martha came up for adoption and mm -hmm. the parents came up for adoption. So I was able to get those um, yeah. already yeah. created, at least start, right. started. Um, right, right. And in, in cases where, um, say, I, I think you mentioned um, there's, there's one family profile where there's an existing profile manager. Um, right. You, if you have made a connection with that person, you can ask to join the trusted list of that profile so that, you know, you're notified of any changes that happen. And, you know, you can, if the profile is not, not open, you could make changes. So that would be um, the other way to handle it. The, the ones that I'm interested in for a, an additional uh, scrutiny, oh. they're open, but the profile mm -hmm. manager's they have something else going on. And so they haven't been responsive to private I messages. See. Yeah. But, okay. I've gone yeah. ahead with some of them and just like, I would be thrilled yeah. if I was working yeah. on somebody and mm -hmm. someone else who had a lot more information came along and put it in there. I would be thrilled. But mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. anyway, it depends on the kind of information, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, let's. Uh, yes, Richard, you have a question. Go ahead. Yeah, on that subject of profile managers and trusted lists, um, I'm, I'm so new to this, I don't know my way around, so I don't know how to properly put in information. It seems to me in this organization that if you look at the, at the monthly newsletter, for example, thank yeah. yous are pretty important. Um, the, the list of thank yous that people get each month for improving profiles and entering profiles and stuff are, are prestigious points. Um, I've done a lot of work in the last few weeks mm -hmm. um, and provided uh, notes and clues and comments and all of those notes and clues and comments um, became profile improvements mm -hmm. for which someone else got the thank yous. And, and I'm not, you know, I'm not the person to stand up and, and fight for something like that, but I just want to say that it seemed inappropriate somehow. Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. uh, the profiles that I've improved um, are are not the profiles of someone's own family. That is a uh, a project pro a profile manager. It's not part of their family. It's it's a friend, mm -hmm. family mm -hmm. of a friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So so how, it, begging and pleading to a profile manager to give up your own family's profiles to you to perfect should not mm -hmm. be a thing. Um, mm -hmm. how, do, how do we get as, uh, as people interested in working this project, our own family profiles from someone who is not a family member of that profile? Yeah, yeah. I, I had an instance of this early on in my time on Wikitree where um, a fourth cousin of mine had created a profile for my great grandmother. So I, I had the much closer relationship and um, we, I mean, we were in contact and, and collaborating, collaborating, and we um, we became, you know, we became co-managers of the profile. Um, yeah, he's very inactive uh, on WikiTree, um, so it, you know, um, but that way, if supposing he were to pop up and make some change to the profile, I would know immediately, and I would be able to communicate with him about that. Um, Hillary, do you want to speak to this question as well? Yeah, I mean, it, it, uh, some of us, particularly those of us that joined early on, may have made profiles for people that are more distant than just our close family. So, I mean, strictly speaking, if you, somebody joins and they're closer to that person than you are, it makes sense for them to be one of the managers or at least on the trusted list so that they can see if something somebody makes a change on it. Um, 
obviously any anybody that's over that um it was born over 150 years ago or or died more than 100 years ago they're all open profiles anyway so anybody can actually um edit them but if it's somebody that is in your direct line you really want to be on that trusted list and people i mean we do they do encourage people to um ask and and that i mean sometimes people will ask like i've done today asked to be put on a trusted list because they found something about somebody um maybe that the, the name at birth or something wasn't correct because the person didn't realize that the name that they'd put on there wasn't actually that the person had perhaps got married prior to the, the the marriage that they had um and so you might want to cha change it and the only way you can change it is if you're on the trusted list and that so that is a, a good enough reason for you to say oh can i be on the trusted list so that i can do this but um i mean if you're going to do that you really want to just go on there do what you need to do and then and then perhaps take yourself off the trusted list because we don't encourage people to hang on to too many profiles but some of us that that created a lot of profiles initially will have a lot of profiles and it takes a lot to to manage our uh, those or remove yourself from ones that are, are less important to yourself so mm -hmm. and um uh, everybody on wikitree has a watch list uh which we, we're going to look at in a little bit and your watch list is all the pro all the profiles that you are manager of or on the trusted list of and so for example when we well let, let me since we're talking about this let me let me go ahead and and show that to you right now so okay here i am and if you go under your uh no you go under my wiki tree you'll come to watch list um and there are there are all my I have 271 profiles on the watch list, which is not bad at all. <laughs> there are people who have in the thousands. Yeah. Um, you do want you do want to keep that number reasonable. Um, so for for example, you might have heard in the newsletters that we have Connectathon coming up next weekend, which is a 72 hour event where uh, I guess 570 or so of us are going to madly connect as many profiles uh, through creating um, creating new profiles um, as possible. Um, and so all the participants, we're going to end up with a lot of profiles on our watch list that um, that are probably not our family and probably sh should not, you know, should be orphans um, for, for multiple reasons, both so that we don't end up with huge watch lists and and then maybe also so that a family member could come along and adopt it. So um, there are ways, there are ways to, um, I mean, you can of course go one by one and take people off your watch list. There's also ways to do bulk, bulk removals. Um, so, and then as long as I'm talking about the watch list, um, I'll show, um, I had mentioned to Sally, the extra watch list. Yes, and this is um, she'd been she'd been asking. Well, um, I guess you made a free space page of people whose profiles you were interested in that you're not profile manager. I right? made a private category, I think, is oh, what you would call right. it. And that's so right. I can see it on my yep. profile, and then I can click yep. to, but I have to go look for it and yeah. then click there yeah. to. It's a shortcut to get to those three profiles. Got it. Got it. So what you'll see on on my menu up here is I have this this extra my menu and that's because i had the wiki tree browser extension um it it's a I've, I've customized my menu so that these are the ones that i go to the most often so it, it's just a nice handy shortcut um so you can see let's see um here is my notes where's my extra watch list um Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to a random profile. And now up here, you'll see these icons. Um, and if I wished to add Johannes to my extra watch list, then I would just click there. Uh -huh. Yeah. And so, and then next to it. Very trip, handy. Yes, very handy. Here with the binoculars, uh, you'll see 
these are the people on my extra watch list. So, um, you know, just people that I've done to say on the, on some of the, the training trails, the orphan trail, the Tartan, Tartan trail, um, where I just, you know, I invested a lot in these profiles um, and I just, you know, I want to keep track of them. Yeah. So, so that is- Definitely going to have that. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to have that. <laughs> um, Richard, that I felt like we, we, we circled around um, and covered a lot there, but does that answer your question? No, my, my initial inclination would be to suggest mm -hmm. that uh, a committee be formed of veteran wiki tree people to actually adjudicate the uh, management of the project management of a particular profile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that that's where I am on that subject. But yes, thank you. This is great information about the uh, about the um, um, watch lists and extra watch lists. I appreciate that. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. Though those are those are helpful. Um, Hillary, do you know with the extra watch lists? I mean, it's just sort of a way to gather them, right? I mean, it's not necessarily that you're notified of changes, right? I don't think you're notified of changes because it 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 um it only saves it on that particular um, uh, machine that you're using. Like, so if I'm using my desktop it saves it on my desktop somewhere for me. But if I go to my tablet and use my tablet, because I use my tablet as well for Wikitree things, mm -hmm. it won't, yeah. though, I'll have a different, I can have a different extra watch list on there to what I've got on my desktop. Yes. So mm -hmm. um, it's oh, it's something to do with the extension, how it, the extension in uh, saves it. It must save it locally on your machine somewhere or mm -hmm. in your browser. Yeah, yeah. Um, wonderful. Okay. And I think I saw David Randall come in while we were, while we were talking about that. Hello, David. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> can you hear me? You. Yes. I'm yes, still, I'm still trying you. to get my laptop working here. Okay. Uh, okay. No problem. I'm here. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, D David is also a veteran wiki trier and, um, does a lot <laughs> for wiki -tier. David, you had you can, can you introduce what you do on WikiTree? Um, sure. I am. Um, I do several things, but um, I am a co-leader of the Notables Project. So we oversee all of the um, profiles for people who have um, any kind of um, special fame. Uh, sometimes those projects um, people get get a little carried away with them. So our job is to go in and just kind of monitor and make sure that we're, we're following all the standards, particularly for famous people who are still living. Um, that's um, one of the, probably the biggest challenges as we have is balancing uh, the privacy between, um, you know, WikiTree standards for privacy versus the fact that a lot of these people are, you know, very public figures. So keeping a, a, a good balance there is, um, one of our big challenges. Um, within that, I also supervise or oversee the um, the U.S. Governor's Project. I oversee the Classic Disney Project, and I also oversee the 15 Nations Global Tour, which is um, a project where we try to boost the uh, boost the number of profiles for people from countries that often get overlooked. For example, right now we're in Haiti. Um, we've been connecting, um, I think we have just over 200 profiles we've connected in the last two weeks. Um, previously, we've been to India, Ukraine, Argentina, Kenya, um, and tomorrow night I'll be announcing our next, our next stop. I can't tell you today, but um, <laughs> we got that ready to go. Um, we, we can't, we can't bribe you for that information. No, I've had, okay. I've had a number of people try, but... <laughs> But um, okay. yeah, if I tell people now, nobody will tune into our YouTube <laughs> show tomorrow. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> um, so yeah. anyway, that's a bit about what I do. Um, I'm also a mentor, so I work with newer people that are struggling and um, trying to learn the ropes of the program. Which I believe Betsy's now our, one of our newest mentors. Is that is that yes, correct? Yes. Yeah. Not yes. the newest, but uh, 
but uh, second newest, yeah. Second yeah. newest, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I forgot to mention that I was a mentor when I introduced myself and a greeter. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, okay. Well, let's look at uh, the second uh, profile that Sally gave, which is the son of Martha. So I can easily get there from Martha's page, mother of Aaron. And I, I, I love this photo. This photo is amazing, Sally. Um, then, I, I really don't know who would have taken it um, because the, uh, maybe one of his relatives from Michigan, maybe one of his siblings had come down to visit or something, mm -hmm. um, but it would be a, a wild guess. Um, the house right. is no longer there. This house that they, uh -huh. were, they were living in at that time is no longer uh, at that location. I, I've been told that it got moved. They were building a railroad underpass. And they okay. The houses. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's just so much detail in this photo that I'm like, oh, what do I focus on first? I mean, the shoes, the doll, yep. the hair, the, yeah. Um, and you can notice that um, Sally has this photo linked to all of the people in the photo. So if I were to go to um, Mary's profile, it would the same photo would appear. Right. Yeah. So One of the things I learned in the profile improvement project was how to do this. I had never yeah. thought of doing such a thing. It's like, oh, you can do that? Oh, show yeah. me how. <laughs> yeah. And you you can also um, link it, link a photo to a free space page. Ah, so, okay, yeah, yeah. that that'll happen eventually. Right, right. So when yes. you do your your photos from the family bible, that that's how you would do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. So okay. Well, I I love photos, but I'm getting sidetracked. Okay. So we've got um, you know, again, very good detail um, on the places and dates and close family relationships. Uh, we can see the categories, um, not only place categories, but also occupational categories uh, and a cemetery category, um, which is all really, really helpful for other researchers. Um, and um, oh, what a sad story. I, I see that he died. Yeah, he died too young. Too young, too young. Yeah. And it really, oh. um, it really put the family into a loop because mm -hmm. there, I don't know whether there was any kind of railroad survivor benefits or anything, but it, it was a train wreck for the rest of the family um, yeah. for, because he was not there anymore. Um, right, right. How old were the children at the time the of his children death? children were 18, 16, six and two when yeah. he died. Yeah. yeah. Um, and um, yeah, so I see you put that in the research notes, you know, the question of whether there are some documentation. Yeah, I, about I've, yeah. yeah I've been working on that one, but that's, it's going to take a lot more work to find out what might be there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so. And, um, and polish that up. And, yeah. And, um, and this, this, what you see down here is another Wikitree browser extension feature, this what links here. So ah. this is, this is handy um, to see that on each of these pages, I could be on each of these pages and it would link me back to Aaron's profile. Okay. Yeah. So now, Sally, can I, would you mind describing some of the information that you have that you're you know why martha divorced jacob yeah, yeah. <laughs> um i had looked for that divorce you know the legal divorce record information years ago and i kept getting bounced around well we don't have it but so-and-so probably does and so-and-so would say no we don't have it but someone else has it but i found it in the newspapers recently because newspapers.com has good coverage for the particular county and the particular time period involved mm -hmm. in this. So they have the legal notices cons column. So I know that her criteria were um, 
drunkenness, cruelty, and non-support. And that he spent a little time in jail for gambling, running an illegal gambling room in his house. And But he was still a justice of the peace when he died. So I think his mm -hmm. literal drinking buddies were able to keep him in office because he had been, he lived there for 40 years in the town. Mm -hmm. And it's really, it's sad because I think that he had a business failure that may have, you know, impacted him a lot to send him down that path of, of being a scallywag, um, but um, he got three, you know, a few lines on the back page of the local newspaper, which is not online that I've been able to find. Whereas all the old settler type relatives, and he came in the 1850s, he would have been on the front page with a nice, long, juicy biography, except mm -hmm. he wasn't. And um, he got a few lines on the back page. He barely got a tombstone. And um, he was what they call a colorful character, I guess. Mm -hmm. And that the divorce was in the legal notices. So that's mm -hmm. how I found out it was in 1896. And there's at least two mug books that he's not in. Mm -hmm. um, there's a book, let me see. This book was published in 1939. Yeah. Well, he's not in the index. And he would have oh. been. If the what is this? What is the title? Um, I'm getting in and out of focus. It's called The Region yeah. of Three Oaks. Okay. Got Oaks it. is the name of the town mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. uh, southwestern lower Michigan. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure there's good, useful information in there. It's just not okay. about him. Right, right. So um, that's what I'm thinking about a free space page for Jacob. Mm -hmm. um, and it may loop to the larger life of the town a little bit because he wasn't mm -hmm. the only one who was having a good time on Saturday night um, mm -hmm. doing whatever they were up to. Um, well, it wasn't um, what everybody thought that you should do on Saturday night. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I would agree with you, starting with the simplest thing. I, I'm going to go back to um, Martha's, Martha's profile. Um, and um, I'm not going to change anything, but I'm, I am going to go into edit mode for a second. Sure. Um, I think it's. I think the divorce does need to be on the profile. Yeah. And see, I um, wouldn't have a problem putting that in. Yeah, um, and I mean, and you the, have clear evidence. Yeah. So, so over here on the right, you can see spouses, and you can edit the marriage. And okay. what I would do is I would put the end date would be the date of the divorce sure yeah. and then i could then, add the the notations from the newspaper and link right. you know put citations right. in for right. those right um sometimes if, if i mean generally one spouse you know dies before the other and so sometimes i will use this end date as the date of death of the first spouse well you know you can most people right. figure that out but yeah. um um, yeah, but that's that's where I would do that. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and not save. Also, a okay. very very helpful thing at Can the be. bottom: return without saving. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, and then I. You know, um, Sally had pointed out a very useful um, G2. Actually, it, David David was managing a, a pop-up event um, to do with uh, Siblings Day. And David, you probably saw the thread yes. about, uh, um, about suicide and how to handle difficult uh, issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And um, I, yeah. I mean, I over, Sally brought that to my attention. And I would say, I. I overall agree with the ideas of transparency without sensationalism um, and just putting, putting the sources there, um, the sources that gave you the information and allowing people to go and see for themselves. Um, I think what, one of the things we agreed on in that chat was that a, a suicide has a profound effect on the family. And if you leave it out altogether, you're, you're missing out on a big piece of that family story. At the same time, you don't want to sensationalize it. You don't need to get into graphic details. Um, and also, I think the time frame, you know, did this happen 100 years ago or did it happen two years ago? 
that makes a big difference also as to yeah. Yeah. so you know one of the if we if we've got living relatives that can be affected by it um by having that posted we may want to be more discreet and not necessarily you know put in those details um but when you're getting back generations you know i think to to leave that that piece out of the story um you know that that can answer a lot of questions as to why certain things happened with the children the spouses etc so um yeah but it's it's a it's a it's something you've got to use some delicacy with and and um you know some judgment mm -hmm. but i think also with with you know with the divorce um you know even if we don't get into details on the whys and all of that in the biography just having that that date um the end of the marriage for future research researchers coming by um it's helpful to know that i shouldn't be looking for the husband with the wife if if that marriage ended so um right. you know just giving me that little piece of information with the date can save me a lot of um you know misguided research mm -hmm. no it, it's helped me to know that there's some kind of underlying reason why he's been left out of yeah. materials that he would have otherwise why is he not there well there's mm -hmm. some reasons and we may or may not know the details of what those reasons are mm -hmm. but there, there's another uh they called him a mug book from pennsylvania it was published the year after the divorce so martha's mentioned in one of the profiles in there and jacob is mentioned in his brother's profile because it mentions the parents and all the siblings but it doesn't go into any detail. It doesn't say he went to Michigan. It doesn't say anything about him having a wife or nothing. It just mentions his name. So it explains how to interpret those materials now that you have more context to understand, oh, there's something that was, for whatever reason, decided right, right. not to be mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I, I don't know, Hillary and David, if you have thoughts about whether some of these details, uh, you know, Sally had mentioned uh, doing a free space page or, or should that be woven into the, into the profile itself? I didn't hear the first part, doing a what? Doing a free space page. Oh, a free space page. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, um, It just depends on how much detail you have and, and what you're, where, are we talking about the suicide situation or the divorce situation? What well, are we referring to? The the reasons for the divorce, you know, Jacob the was a, you know, party hardy kind of guy and he, his yeah, life again, I think, I think one, one thing again to, to, you know, to use, we're looking at profile here, this, this individual here died in 1905. Um, I, I don't think, it's as much of a concern when we're going back a hundred plus years as it would be if it was somebody that, yeah. you know, where the spouse is still living or the children are mm -hmm. living. Mm -hmm. um, so if it's, I would put it in the body of the, uh, of the, I, I don't, I don't see for privacy reasons I, and delicacy. I don't see a lot of benefit in going to a free space page. Um, you're still posting the same information. Mm -hmm. If you've yeah. got a lot of detail, um, and you want to keep the the profile a little bit cleaner and this would go for any topic you could then do a free space page you know I, i'll do that for like a if i'm going to put an entire will or um you know if there was a long history of court dates and and that kind of stuff that you want to put on there um that might get a little bit um tedious to read in a narrative you could put that over in a free space page okay um but if you're concerned about privacy and delicacy um, whether you put it on a profile or free space yeah. page, I don't know that that makes a big, you know, a big difference. Well, and I've got probate files that kind of illuminate the whole story, too, because right. when dad died, he had a certain amount of money. One of the kids managed to get their hands on most of it. Mom was not happy with that. So when mom died, she wrote that daughter off with a dollar. Yeah. And that all you know, one of the things, probate records. You know, one of the things I do with, with the free space pages on, on this regard um, it's kind of like when I tell um, my kids and my nieces and nephews the family stories, they only want the the interesting parts. They don't want all the details. <laughs> so when I do a profile, 
I kind of keep that same thing in mind. I want people to enjoy the profile and, and be entertained in a sense by it. So if I've got a lot of long, boring legalese and stuff, then I might do a, yeah. you know, other people well, want those, those details. They want access to them. Or um, you could I, perhaps do an abstract of some sort to be in a profile yeah. and do a transcript yeah. to do in a free space page. Or, or put it at the end of the profile. Um, so it's okay. not interfering necessarily with the narrative story, but it's still there for people to yeah. see. Yeah, yeah. Um, you you know you do want to you want to provide others with that information, um, but again you don't want to bore the the general reader with, you know, a lot of technical stuff. So it's you know it's kind of a balancing act. Uh, Richard, well, um, I see you got a hand up. Yeah, I can I can see that free space page extension for biography being pretty valuable but it prompts the question for me in a in a biography it can, must be concise obviously on a profile um, what items are essential to include in a biography and what sorts of things um, I suppose everything else would go over to a free space page but do um, any of the veterans here have any um, examples they can point us to that are um, excellent examples of biographies within a profile. Mm -hmm. um, well, I will say David has a really amazing profile completion checklist, which, you know, I, I printed it out and it's just a really good guide to go through. David, do you have, do you have a model? Yeah, profile? Gonna, let me see if I can, I can pull the link up for you. Yeah, I'm going to make you a co-host. Um, okay. So that you can screen share. Um, and while David's finding that, Richard, I, I would say, um, yes, biographies should be concise, but not at the expense of leaving out essential things like, you know, of course, all the vital details, but migrations um, from place to place, uh, significant family relationships, occupational information. I mean, sometimes, unfortunately, we don't know more than just the fact of uh, so-and-so did this job. But, but if we have a little more context to give, um, that, that's a nice thing to be able to include. Um, do, I, do I need to stop sharing so that you can share, David? Um, yeah, let me, do, let me do this real quick here. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, so I put the link in the chat chat box, and then um, let me. I don't use YouTube a whole lot, so I'm looking here for. Um, it's at the bottom. Zoom. You should be on Zoom. I look yes. for sh share screen. Yeah, I've got that. Now I just need to find the. <laughs> when, you, when you have a bazillion tabs open like I do. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see the share screen. And I don't see it here. So let me try this. Okay. All right, I'm not finding the link here. Do you want me to share it? I've brought it up on my screen. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you can do that, I'm just not seeing which buttons I'm supposed to push here. Yeah, let me see. I'm getting the... Is that go. showing now? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so so this is just something I came up for my own purposes and I shared it with one of my groups and it kind of took off and um, a, a lot of the different projects are using it. But it's just a guideline that I use, um, you know, when I'm working on several family members, um, sometimes I forget to go back and add the stickers or, you know, clean up my sources, whatever. So this is just a list of the things that I want to check off. Um, I may not have all this information but I wanna make sure that if I do, that I've got it included. So, you know, for example, I may not have a photograph, um, 
but I can check that off if I don't have it, um, as opposed to I forgot to put it on the profile. So it just gives me a little bit of a guideline um, when we're um, when we're doing it. And this um, list at the bottom gives you some examples of profiles that have um, basically been completed. Now I use, I think at the beginning, it's been a while since I read the, the heading here, but I, I say essentially complete because there's really no such thing as a complete profile. There's always yeah. more that can be added, but this just means that I've that I've checked everything that I need to be checking. Yeah, mm. I love this. <laughs> Such a great tool. Yeah. Right. yeah, you know, last night I was working with a family with fifteen children and doing the profiles for all fifteen of them, and. I'd go back and I, it's like, oh, I didn't put the stickers on this one or I forgot to, to add this over here because I was going back and forth between mm -hmm. all of them. So at right. the end, I just went through them one at a time and made sure every one of them had each of the mm -hmm. things that was supposed to be there. I mean, I, I think one of the best ways to learn on Wikitree is just to look at a lot of profiles. And when I was new, one of the things that helped me so much was watching the Saturday morning uh, live cast, the Saturday Roundup, yes. um, and one of the features of that is to to look at um, about a dozen profiles, and Greg Clark walks through them, and and that that was what opened my eyes to the possibility of oh, you can do that on a profile, and and then I would you know look into how how did they do that, um, so and your April fifteenth Saturday tip of the week about free space pages. I've got that oh, yeah. marked so that Good. I can keep going back over that because I've got so many ideas for those pages about yes. things like the life of the town and about the railroad and all these different things. And so I'll be definitely using that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, that thing about the videos yeah, will be useful. The videos will be useful for um, mm -hmm. people that are new because there's yeah. been so many recordings over the years. It's yeah. just, yes. yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's, so, it's also how I learned a lot about formatting. I do a lot of cut and pasting rather than reading the help pages on how to bold something or make something in color or whatever. If I see it on another profile, I can just kind of cut and paste yeah. that and use it. Um, it it's a lot easier than trying to figure yeah. out the coding and all of that. You figure well, out I, eventually. I'll go into edit mode just to look at the code with exactly. no intentions mm -hmm. of touching it, but I'm like, how did they do that? And then I can see yep. what the code was and then I can do what they did. Exactly. Right. Um, what I'll do is I'm gonna put um, the, the link that we were just talking about with the um, videos, I'll put that in the chat. Um, and basically it's just playlists on the, on the YouTube channel. Um, where do I get to the chat? See, I'm not so good on Zoom myself. <laughs> um, chat, okay. So there we go. Um, that's, that's a very helpful page to bookmark. Um, so. I, sh I assume everybody's aware of their scratch pad. That I mentioned, I uh, think last time we met, um, last Which month. That, that you can put you can put the you can put these shortcuts on your scratch pad if you if you want somewhere which is on the navig your um, navigation page your uh her, your nav home page should we uh, should we show that that i think that would yeah. be good to to show uh, let's see let me go back okay so there we go and if i go to how do I, I just go there? No, where's my navigation page? Somebody was telling me a, oh, there we go. Nav homepage. Why is it not showing? It's loading. Yeah, it's yep, being slow. it is. I'm being impatient. There we go. So your nav homepage, you can you can customize this. Um, so I see my tree, um, G2G threads that are of interest because of tags I'm following. 
And then what Hillary's talking about is this scratch pad, which can be really helpful for a, a, a short term to do list or um, you know making note of shortcuts. And um, it also shows um, the activity feed. Um, and recent, yeah, so uh, helpful, helpful tool. I don't use it as much as I should, but yeah. Um, okay, well, so that we don't Wait. lose track, yeah, go ahead. Oh, oh, just what I was going to say real quickly. When you initially set up your Wikitree account, um, you may or may not have included the scratch pad on your home page. So if you don't see it, you just need to go to settings and and add it. Right. So under my Wikitree, you would go to settings. And then there's just a whole there's a whole list of things you can customize down towards the bottom is your navigation home page. And so you'd want to make sure that that is checked. Scratch back. Yeah. So, um, let me show the uh, the WikiTree browser extension. Um, and I'm also going to put this in the chat. Um, okay. Or actually, David or Hillary, could you put could you put the free space page for the WikiTree browser extension in the chat? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So um, for those of you, um, the seller, you don't have it. Richard, do you have the WikiTree browser extension? No. Yeah. And Doris? No. Nope. Okay. So got three three people to to entice over to this. Um, the Wikitree browser extension is, um, you can see up on my, I use Chrome. And so you, uh, the number one is the sorcerer and what what looks like a teeny tiny Wikitree icon, that's the Wikitree browser extension. Um, and it's the, the product of uh, our wonderful community of volunteer coders and uh, application developers on WikiTree, and they have, um, you know, just taken the wish list of everything users feel would be handy, and and gone ahead and, and added, put them in together in this wonderful package. So, it's a it's a massive amount of things they can do. I, I just think you need to to have a have a browse through this free space page, um, and it it starts with installation like how do i get it and it will talk you through that i don't consider myself to be a super techie person but it was not it was not hard um and then i would also direct you to the wiki tree tours so this is a new monday video series with aon uh aon the forest elf and julie and azure and um they have one of their first videos was all about the uh, uh, the Wiki Tree browser extension. So they like, you know, they walk you through. So if you're a visual learner, that this would be really good, this this series. And that that again, that's a playlist on the on the um, the video I already shared with you. May I say something um, about the Wiki Tree browser yes, extension? Please, please. So I, I I'm uh, I'm using a, a Mac uh, and I use Safari. I don't use the other browsers. And so I haven't been able to use the Wikitree browser extension until very, very recently when I got an advanced version of it. Uh -huh. And uh, and so just last week I started using the Wikitree browser extension and boy, what a difference it makes. There's just so many uh, useful features that the Wikitree browser extension brings to you uh, in your ability to First of all, just looking at your profile, it, it changes how you look at your profile. That's that's one layer of it. Then there's a whole set of features that you can use where you check, you're uh, checking your biography and, and 
you know, looking looking for details uh, that you might have missed. And then, of course, there's the the WikiTree Sourcer, which I never had before, but I got last maybe just a couple of days ago, and I haven't really started using it yet. But it's amazing, and mm -hmm. so it 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 really has changed my whole outlook on how to do things. Um, one of the things that I do uh, periodically is I I do uh, DNA confirmations, and when you do that. You have to you 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 start at one end. You know you're 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 working with two people, two living people, and you mm -hmm. have to work up their lines. Uh, and and at each stage, at each person along the way, you have to adapt the the confirmation statement. You know to say um, this person, the person in this profile, is the sixth great granddaughter of the MRCA, and is also the thir third great grandmother of the tester. So you're mm -hmm. you're changing these details as you go, and and having that little um, uh, at, right at the top of your screen when you're working on this, and you've got the, your clipboard, and you mm -hmm. can have multiple things in your clipboard. Mm -hmm. So you have mm -hmm. instead of you know Control C and Control V, you can you can copy something, and put it into your clipboard, and then you can copy something else and put that into your clipboard. And so you can just move through and pick the one that you want to drop into a new profile. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so yesterday I did, I did a series of uh, DNA confirmations and it was just so much easier to go through it because, it, you know, there's a lot of copying and pasting involved when you're doing this. And um, boy, this, it just made my life so much easier. Anyway, I, I highly recommend for anybody who isn't currently using the WikiTree browser extension, get it. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's, that's great to hear. Thank you. So, so happy customer there. <laughs> um, but I mean, the best, just, just like everything else on Wikitree, I mean, the amazing thing is it's free. So um, that, that's really good. I'm going to have to check out that feature that you just described, Murray. That's, that's wonderful. Um, and, and just to not make any assumptions, MRCA is most recent common ancestor, right? As Sally, Sally, I think you were noting in our emails, you know, the acronyms, the lingo, the jargon yeah. that gets tossed around. Anytime you come to something new like this, you're going to have to learn some language. Exactly. And, uh, yeah, even if you just read the G to G, if you're real new and get on that forum and just read stuff and uh -oh. stuff is of interest to you. And then if you don't know what it is, try to find out what it is. That will help you get used to it because you don't understand what they're saying. Right. And other people think it's simple. Well, yeah, tag me in the G to G post so I'll see your comment or whatever. It's like, ah. Uh, how do I do that? How do I type it? If you don't know, then how are you going to do it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Simple stuff like that that a lot of people don't realize how much they know can yeah. get in the way, <laughs> can get in the way. Yeah. 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 No, the, the, the learning curve. It's, um, um, it's substantial. <laughs> it's yeah. a hike. Yeah. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Be concerned if yeah. you're so far in you think you should be more with it than you are because no there's just a lot there's a lot in here yeah you know i tune into groups like this uh, i've been with wikitree for a couple of years and um i sit here listening to do people and the things they've discovered that i never even knew existed on wikitree so um even those of us that have been around quite a while are always uncovering new things yeah so it's it's a, there's a lot to there's a lot to learn, but you can also, you don't have to know everything to, to right. you know, right. have a good time and be effective either. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, we have about 10 minutes left. Um, and I, Richard posed a number of good questions, um, which I, I will definitely, if I, we don't get to all of them, Richard, I will reply to you via email. Um, to, to address those, but um, does anyone have burning questions that, you know, right well, I, here and now? Just a little yeah. one little one. What do they do in a clean-a-thon? I haven't been a part one. of a clean-a-thon, so oh, I'm okay. going to toss that to Hillary and David. Yeah, well, well, I'll toss used... it to Hillary because I haven't yeah. done one. <laughs> I have. <laughs> What I did, what we, what the cleanathon did last time we had one, which we haven't had one for a, quite a long time, was clear up a lot of the suggestions that a lot of the data doctors deal with. Um, so it was a 
um, but I think because of the way the data doctors work and the way a lot of the stuff works now with Wikitree Plus, I don't know whether that was why they stopped doing the cleanathons, but we seem to do a lot more. We we started doing a lot more connectathons and we just didn't the cleanathon was the one that that just disappeared and we just have the connectathon and the sourceathon the, by the looks of things now. We did have a scan a scan one as well. But a lot of people um, didn't participate in that because they just didn't have things that they thought they could scan or they'd run out of things that they could scan and, and whatever. And I, as much as we like to have the, um, the images on the profiles to make them look nice, there's a limit to, to what you want to actually have on your profiles anyway. So... Mm -hmm. Well, in order for me to scan, I have to pay a subscription to Adobe. And mm -hmm. since I don't have an ongoing need for that, I, I don't have that function. My hardware will do it, but the software is mm -hmm. locked and it won't let me do it. Mm -hmm. But I have other ways to get images onto mm -hmm. profiles when I want to get them on there. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think what I've been noticing is that a lot of the projects are doing their own very targeted cleanathons. Okay. Um, like like Scotland recently, Scotland Project recently. Um, you know, there was a, a call for the month of March and, and said, everybody, let's you know, let's look at this list of suggestions. And you know, there were really easy but important ones to to tackle, like places that had been misspelled. And and yeah. so it was, you know, just it's just sort of niggly yeah. things that take a mm -hmm. take a minute mm -hmm. to just do and but it's helpful for the whole tree's health so yeah yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah yeah and england have recently done things which um because there was a lot of um places that just had a place and england and no county so mm -hmm. it wasn't being some things weren't being picked up um by the searches that you can do on wikitree now because of, um wikitree plus so Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, one of the things we've been talking oh, oh so Richard can sorry. talk instead of yes. okay. oh, I just wanted to mention for, for Sally's benefit uh, I haven't used it in a while because I, I work almost exclusively on, a, on an iPad but if you're on a PC um, if you need to be able to scan and, and copy PDFs and such uh, if you go to <laughs> openoffice.org openoffice.org um, there is publicly available and widely oh. used software that's ah. safe and secure, um, does most everything that Microsoft's works do, most everything that uh, uh, PDFs, you know, Apache, Adobe stuff yeah. does, and okay. you don't have to pay for it. Openoffice.org, check that out. I will definitely do that because I'm also a modern day guardian and I sometimes have need for scanning as well for that purpose. So um, anyway. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, David, what were you going to say? Yeah. You know, something I was going to say regarding these um, cleanathons and all the other thons that we do. One of the things we've been talking about amongst the leadership is when we open up, um, our, our, our projects tend to attract people who are very skilled or, or at least become skilled in their specific area of knowledge. And when we open up these thons to the, to the general membership, Sometimes we've had an issue with people getting overly enthusiastic about adding stuff without really examining it and um, you know, making sure that it's accurate, done correctly. So we're looking at doing more of the small projects that, that Betsy was mentioning, where it's um, where there, these thons are more focused on the membership of the projects and the people that know that specific area. We'll still have some that are open to the general public, but we're gonna probably see a lot more that are specific to, um, you know, whether it's the sorcerers project or the bio writers or uh, the notables or whatever project it may be. Um, but that way we've got, we've got a, uh, a population of people that um, understand what kind of the requirements are and the expectations are. Um, so, if you enjoy those things, my um, my suggestion is that you start joining some of these pro projects, and um, you know, getting involved with them and finding out a little more about what they do and how they do things, um, and then um, you know, watch for their their mini projects as they as they pop mm -hmm. up. And I, I actually oh go ahead Sally 
the weekly data doctors, um, they're basically cleanup type of projects. You don't mm -hmm. have to be a data doctor to participate in those. And I've found them very helpful to just learn to how to find the typos in the ref tags when they added a period in the middle and just simple little stuff like that um, that messes up your profiles. And as a learning tool for me to know how to find mistakes and fix them. And they're rated like easy, intermediate and advanced. So you don't have to do the advanced ones yeah. if you don't feel up to, you know, but you can learn. And yeah. so yeah. every week I usually do a few to contribute to the cause on those just as a learning tool. And I find interesting things while I'm doing it. Well, Sally, that might be the secret to your success. You're, you're really fast. Oh, I think it helps. <laughs> yeah. I keep doing um, it. Yeah. I did promise to show how you would find projects um, because um, I, just, I can't recommend projects at Wikitree strongly enough in terms of finding like a little neighborhood and, and sub-community. Um, of people to, to research with. So under find, go to projects. And then um, there of course are geographical projects, but then when you have themed projects, um, and then underneath that are functional projects. So the data doctors that Sally's talking about, that, that's under functional. Um, the mentors that the three of us were talking about, that's, that falls there, rangers, rangers sort of uh, patrol wiki tree, all the branches and make sure that, you know, the, the integrity of the tree is being protected. Um, so yeah, um, DNA project, there's, there's a whole range of functional projects. The way to join any of these is just, I'm, I'm just gonna scroll down to the first geographical project is just to go to their G2G post. So, um, and, hmm. I don't see a link to a G2G post. Try clicking on Acadians at the top and see if that yeah. takes you to. Okay, there's their free space page. How to join. How to join. Yeah. Um, some projects have a little requirement. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. My, just my luck that the first one I <laughs> chose didn't, didn't follow the model. But in most cases, um, there will be a link to a G2G post for that project. You just, reply, you just answer the post and say, hey, I'd like to join. And some one of the leaders, project leaders, will be in touch with you and tell you how to do that. Yeah. Um, hey, well, um, Richard, I will reply to your email and answer, answer your questions um, that were sort of profile creation oriented. Um, any other? Questions, this has been a really great discussion. I wanna thank everybody. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm gonna stop the recording. Um, Betsy, well, let me, I, yes. I just wanna thank you for running this series. This is, this is fabulous. Oh, you're very, very welcome. <laughs> it's my pleasure. You could take those tip of the weeks and put them as separate little videos and make a playlist on YouTube if you don't have anything else to do. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what I was, I was thinking about that when, when you mentioned um, uh, private, private categories, personal yeah, categories. Was one, yeah, that's how I got that yeah. information to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking I should go through the, the videos and, and um, give a timestamp. Like yeah. on this video, I, this is the tip of the week is X and it starts at 42 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that so, would, cause I have yeah. it written down for the one from yesterday for those free space oh, good. pages. Good. So, well, yes, I'm definitely having that again. Yeah. And maybe, maybe I can link that to our new member zoom free space page. That would, yeah, that would work. That would work. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop the recording now. Thank you very much, everyone. Have Bye. a good weekend, everybody. You too. Bye. Thank you.